Now that Blender 5.0 is officially here, let's take a look at how the community is already putting it to use through mind-blowing demos and experiments. Starting off strong with an insane creature rig by Artem Shapiro, this thing looks like an alien shark locked in predator mode. The way it moves, the secondary motion, the tracking, it feels alive. I was so blown away by this animation, I had to dive deeper into his work, and it just kept getting better. Every rig, every creature is packed with detail and personality. If you want your mind absolutely melted, go browse his Twitter page. You'll thank me later. Every day is a good day to pick up a new technique, and today Louis Dumont delivers a brilliant one. He showcases a simple but incredibly effective method for creating stylized characters using modular parts, all driven by geometry nodes in Blender 5.0. He takes advantage of the new ability to edit normals, allowing different body pieces to fuse seamlessly together. The result, everything looks like it's part of a single unified mesh with zero visible joins and a perfectly cohesive style. Last week, we saw a virtual camera being controlled with a game controller, but Yonk just took things to the next level. This time, he's controlling an entire character's movement animations, and even extra actions all in real time using an Xbox controller. It's basically turning Blender into a live mocap and animation system. He's planning to release a beta version of the add-on on his Patreon, so if you want to try it yourself, check the links in the description. It's easy to forget that Blender is an absolute powerhouse for motion graphics, but Louis Demont is here to remind us. He created this clean, stylish promo design for the CG Boost birthday sale, all inside Blender. The level of control and freedom you get in 3D simply goes beyond what traditional 2D tools like Photoshop or After Effects can offer. Blender isn't just an alternative, it's an upgrade. Speaking of upgrades, choosing the right tool might be the difference between a masterpiece and amateur results, and Yuki wasn't about to let us forget that Houdini is still the king of visual effects, especially when it comes to fluid simulations. Yes, there's Liquigen, and it's all real-time and impressive on its own, but it's a standalone app, not Blender. And even then, can it reach this insane level of detail if you really pushed it? Bubbles, foam, surface ripples reacting at micro levels. I have never seen any application match Houdini when it comes to fluid precision and control. Yes, this list is supposed to be about Blender, but as you already know, when it comes to 3D, you are forced to jump between multiple applications. And nowadays, it's becoming common to use Houdini and Blender together as a complete pipeline. And here's another perfect example of the Houdini Blender pipeline in action. Shimu is working on an action-packed animation, using Houdini for the heavy simulations and Blender for animation, rendering, and everything else. It's basically a 30% Houdini, 70% Blender workflow. And because both software have been evolving at high speed over the past few years, this one clip feels like a live stress test of all the latest tech, Houdini's new MPM solvers, Blender's compositor improvements, and more. It's a full showcase of how these tools are coming together to make high-end filmmaking possible for small teams, not just big studios. No one, and I repeat, no one, has demonstrated the power of Eevee like Rui Huang. I have no idea how he makes his renders look so epic and so massive in scale. He's always building these gigantic worlds with insane detail in every corner, and his render engine of choice is always Eevee. And I love that because it's a constant reminder that if I'm not getting results like this in Eevee, I'm the problem, not the engine. Every scene he posts is a masterpiece of scale, lighting, and atmosphere. His worlds stretch endlessly in every direction, yet nothing feels empty or rushed. It's all handcrafted, all epic, and all running in real time. Big shout out to him. Every time I work on a video like this, I end up in corners of the internet I didn't plan on visiting, but I'm not complaining. It's always amazing to see how differently people use these tools. Here we have Ludi Nier, the creator of Jiggle Marker, showing some behind the scenes R&D for the add-on. Normally I'd tell you to go check out the artist's page immediately, but for this one, maybe wait until you're not at work. Don't say I didn't warn you. If Mixamo doesn't have the animation you're looking for, no worries. There's a new motion capture plugin that turns webcam footage into real-time skeleton data to animate your characters directly in Blender. That means if you can move, act, or dance, it's your time to shine. 
The plugin appears to be paid, but there's a free trial version available, so you can test it out and see if it fits your workflow before committing. All right, I've been showcasing what everyone else has been doing, so maybe it's time I flex a little too. I'm currently working on a new cloth library called Looped Clothing, and it's still in the testing phase. If you're one of my patrons, you can already jump in, try it out, and let me know what you think. Public release is coming soon. Anyway, that's it from me for now. Feeling inspired and want to level up your Blender skills, especially in geometry nodes, VFX, and motion graphics, here are some courses that'll help you get there. The Master Geometry Nodes course shows you how to build procedural systems from scratch. The Blender Advanced Effects course dives into motion graphics and high-end VFX entirely inside Blender. And the Houdini for Blender Artists course bridges Blender's workflow with Houdini's procedural power. Together, they teach you how to think like a technical artist, love that, giving you total control over your creative pipeline. So whether you're picking up add-ons, mastering procedural tools, or learning full production techniques, there's never been a better time to level up. Blender's ecosystem is evolving fast. And if you're keeping up, you're already ahead of the game.